I'm going to show you five deep fake videos that will make you question everything you view from now on. The first version of Adobe Photoshop developed by Thomas and John Knoll was released in 1988. Since that time, people looking at photographs can no longer tell if they're looking at an original image or whether it's been manipulated. Today, we are now in a similar breakthrough for video. It is already becoming challenging to know if the people we are looking at in a video are real or computer generated. The state of the art of deep fakes continues to get better and better. And soon, when we're watching TV or YouTube or Instagram, we have to look at the people, whether they're actors or politicians or even family members, and question, did they really say that? Is that real or is that computer generated? I want to show you five examples of the state of the art of deep fakes today so you know where things are and how much we should question what we view. Deep fake number one, Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook. Did he actually say this? I wish I could keep telling you that our mission in life is connecting people, but it isn't. We just want to predict your future behaviors. Spectre showed me how to manipulate you into sharing intimate data about yourself and all those you love for free. The more you express yourself, the more we own you. Deep fake number two, Nicolas Cage replaces Jack Nicholson in The Shining. What would it be? I'm awfully glad you asked me that, Lloyd. Because I just happen to have two 20s and two 10s right here in my wallet. I was afraid they were going to be there till next April. So here's what. You slip me a bottle of bourbon, a little glass, and some ice. I hope it's nothing serious. No. Deep fake. Number three, MyHeritage.com. MyHeritage has a new service that lets you bring a still image to life using artificial intelligence. Imagine seeing a great, great, great grandparent come to life in a video. Here's an example. This is a picture of me when I was three years old. I upload the image to the MyHeritage.com website and their servers turn the old image into a living video of me from that still image. The end result is pretty remarkable and you can download it onto your own server, your own computer. Deep fake number four. This isn't really Tom Cruise, but can you tell? I'm gonna show you some magic. It's the real thing. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's all the real. Finally, deep fake number five, Barack Obama with some salty language. Can this technology be used to have politicians say words they didn't actually say to incite a global crisis? How about this? Simply, President Trump is a total and complete dipshit. Now, you see, I would never say these things, at least not in a public address, but someone else would. Someone like Jordan Peele. This is a dangerous time. Moving forward, we need to be more vigilant with what we trust from the internet. That's a time when we need to rely on trusted news sources. It may sound basic, but how we move forward in the age of information is going to be the difference between whether we survive or whether we become some kind of f***ed up dystopia. Thank you, and stay woke, bitches. Well, that concludes our five deep fake examples. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Also, this is a new channel and I'm trying to get up to my first 100 subscribers. If you like the video, hit subscribe. It makes this whole thing a lot easier for me. Thank you very much. See you next time.